Nah, stealing was a thing though. I think like stealing, like <laughs> we all came up stealing though. <laughs> I oh, know what's the sick shit you stole? Nice what's the sick shit y'all stole? Y'all feel like you feel a little guilty, like man, I shouldn't have took that one. <sighs> Come on, man, talk about it. They know the real. They don't, see, it's, nah, see? it's kind of crazy. I gotta Trip. think back. The sickest thing I ever stole, homie. I can't say the sickest, but I can't. I get to, listen, I didn't steal this though. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start it off then. I was just talking about this yesterday on the stream. The sickest thing I so, ever stole. Just a couple crazy. years ago, like right, 2000. I don't know, a couple years ago. I came across a twenty thousand dollar bracelet. Like literally, I could have got more. I mean, I could have got twenty for sure off it. It's okay. Cold bracelet. Two years ago. No, I didn't say two years ago. Okay. A couple years, a few years ago. My fault. Yeah, a few All years right. ago. Type shit. And uh, so anyways, this bracelet it got it got somebody lost that motherfucker. And, and I tried to go. I'm the one was going around like, yo, who's, I'm thinking this some people that I was in the mix. Like, hey, it's your bracelet. Everybody like, ain't mine, ain't mine. And the homie who gave it to me, he thought the bitch was fake. I'm like, this motherfucker looking like it's dancing. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Nobody said it's this. So all right, it's mine's now. I, I I tell the homie like, hey man, nobody claimed that bracelet. And this bitch real. Q told me this motherfucker real. I'm gonna go get that praise. And he's like, this motherfucker off the charts. It's going crazy. I'm like, yeah, I'm up. So now I'm wearing this motherfucker thirsty, nasty and shit. And he's on wearing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I want to sell it. Oh, yeah. no, me, I ain't want to sell it. This bitch is yeah. too cold. It's too icy. I ain't never had no diamonds like this. I'm like, this motherfucker dance wherever. So I'm like, all right, I'm keeping it. But I knew who it was. We found out who it was. And I'm like, damn. Damn. I could go tell him. It'd be a good deed. I said, what's hot? And or <laughs> I can just keep it going. I decided to keep it going, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Free. My nigga Free, man. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the ones that let me know. Keep that going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> keep that going. He told me about all the rich motherfuckers. He was like, he was like shit, they rich, they got insurance. insurance. Me, no, he was like, don't worry about they it. They rich, it. they good. Insurance, I'm man. like, oh, yeah. So I ain't feel guilty no more. I'm like, all right, cool. But I ended up losing that bitch like a year later. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Karma, you know karma. what I mean? Karma, like just lost it for no reason, like a dumb loss. The way like, you found it, how you lost it. Yeah, man, but that was Damn. like the only thing I ever took to where I felt a little bit guilty. And I seen, and I, and I, so like I was going to a party at uh, World on Wheels one night, big industry party type shit. And right before I was walking in there, I'm like, ah, such and such might be here. Well, that's motherfucking bracelet. This is his bracelet. I'm like, I got to remember that. Like I'm running around, didn't get too comfortable. I put that bitch back in the car. Uh -huh. As soon as I walk in the building, it's the first person I see is the motherfucking owner of this goddamn bracelet. What's, uh, up? What's up, King? What's that? <laughs> oh, you grimy, <laughs> homie. Oh, you I really want to tell so him bad. Grimy. I'm like, no, did you get insurance on that motherfucker? Thank I think somebody found that bitch. Damn, oh, you I really want to say it. I ain't gonna lie to you, but it was out of my hands. It was really I already paid twenty five hundred for that bitch. I mean, what's what's the window of uh, opportunity? What's the window like? How long do I gotta keep looking to see who like, shit it is before I say it's mine? How long? Uh, how long do you look? Exactly. That was my whole shit. Like, how long do I? How long? Because I tried. I was the one. I, I even the same person. Even the same person. I went to the pictures of that day and like to see. Like, they, I'm like, they ain't had nothing on their wrist. And then the homie came back. Like, nah, I found another picture. He did have it right here. But this is a, I'm like, man, I already spent 2500 on this motherfucker because me and the homie found it. So I was like, he wanted to split. I'm like, man, I ain't, what are we doing? I ain't about to share this motherfucker with you. I'm just uh, going to pay you out and then... <laughs> I'm going to pay you out. Yeah, after I got it appraised. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after I got it appraised. <laughs> after I got it appraised. Oh, you <laughs> burnt out. Oh, okay, I'm going to hey, pay you out, bro. Because this motherfucker is good. That was yeah, good it's out. really worth 15 that, That's Straight not a janky, that's yeah. not a janky situation, right? If... And only if it wasn't a point where the person who, who lost it made a post like, if anybody found my bracelet and you saw it. That's only if No, no, Jake, he didn't do that. Didn't if do he that. never asked about it, never doubled down and asked Q about it or nothing like nah, that. No, they didn't good. reach out to, they didn't reach out or nothing and like say nothing. They didn't do nothing. I I really was attempting to like get that motherfucker back. I you know, I didn't say nothing for a few days. I'm like, man, this motherfucker minds, man. Cause I really don't like stealing. But I'm like, especially something like this motherfucker. But is it stealing? That, what, what happened? That's not stealing. That's no, it wasn't stealing because they, they, they brought it to me like, yo, hey, somebody dropped this. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go around to all the artists that was here. I went around and everybody checked out, you know, what it is. What It is what it is. You know, I mean, good bracelet, a good time. It definitely brought some dope things <laughs> to my life. It also brought headaches and shit. Good you know what I'm saying? Good 
That brought headaches and shit. I know. I'm thirsty. I was super thirsty at one time. Um, I went. To, I used to go to the sloths in the lot, and and I was. I had. A, I had this plan put together. And uh, yeah, shout out Ben Baller because you know what I mean. He had the jury store right there by the door. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right there by the door. And uh, one of his people, you feel me? You know, he, they used to just charge us a lot, man. One time I went in that motherfucker, he was told me like twenty five hundred, three thousand for this little ass Rolex chain. I was hot. I'm like, man, we finna get this nigga, cuz. Stay <laughs> thirsty. Where you park at? I was like, nigga nah, park fuck at? where he park at. So now I'm like, nigga, we finna rob this nigga. We finna rob the jewelry store. I'm finna <laughs> get this jewelry. I'm the whole shit. So Over $3,000. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was broke. <laughs> no, how we broke? No Over three thousand dollars. He don't know this though. <laughs> so I got my nigga punch, the IP little punch. I went and got him and I went and got some other niggas. This was right before I went to jail. Like I'm I'm like scouting shit out to do some shit because I need the I, I'm like, I need the chili. Fuck yeah. all that shit. And I'm like, man, I scouting it out. I knew the security guard, nigga, when he was there, when that nigga took a lunch, when they like switch shifts and shit like that. I used to walk through the spot meet, and I'm going, I'm, I'm so thirsty. I'm knocking on the glass and shit, see which one hollow. You know what I'm saying? We see which one thick. You know what I'm saying? See which one we could hop over. All the shit, and I'm just like, bro, I don't think we should do this one, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we should do this. We're about two, three of us. No, not two, three of us. Three, four of us. And I'm like, nah, we could do this shit. Put on a mask. We in and out. We <laughs> broke, nigga. We can do this shit. What are our broke hey, asses? Man, I would imagine if I would have did that shit. Niggas always want to hit the popular spots, bro. Bruh, I'm telling you, homie. I was finna do like that shit, know. homie. Like I was finna do it. niggas plotting. Bro. They know. They, man. They but waiting for a nigga like right, me to try look, I didn't go through with it and somebody did that shit. Somebody did that shit, but they got caught though. They waiting for a nigga like you to try it, man. It'd have been us, cuz. Yeah. Then they got that year in the mean back there for them. Sure. Hey, every level it's that shit, but the thing I don't be getting, because I be looking at, when I think about like the early 1900s and all that, I be like, how was anybody ever getting caught for a crime? Like, how? Without. It be kind of like blowing my mind. Ask T.F. Yeah, to... <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like, well, that was my still, nigga to rob still digital, bank. though. They was in the still digital era when he did that. Uh, that nigga crazy. But, like, just far as just, like, you can hit a couple corners and should be gone. Like, because I look at back at school and everything, I be like, man, I, like, what? The same How did I get caught for yeah. anything? How was niggas getting caught back in the day before cameras, bro? Simple. Word of mouth. Niggas was talking too much. Niggas was they telling, telling, still one telling. Person, one you still got to tell. People, so it, it, it means something. So let's you get still to the bottom of that. Tell. Like, telling, Just talking about this. Telling means something, though. That's what I'm saying. It's a stig the stigma on snitching and all that is like out of this world. But I was talking to the FNM about this, too. I'm like, how we be knowing who the ones is? It don't matter what section it is. Everybody know, like, oh, he one of the ones. He one of the ones. Word of mouth. Ones. From them. And this is what this is what's so cold. Before we even knew about... You know, going to these different cities and all that, you heard about certain hoods, right? All right, the Hoovers, boom. Then you finally meet a Hoover. They're like, oh, that's what they woo. What they say? He the shooter. Was they lying or was but they, was, say, was they just how, content? That's no, that's up. common. Niggas will put that them titles to describe who you are from your hood. Exactly. Oh, he, he, he got hands. He the shooter. Oh, he the good money nigga. And it's like, that's low key switch. It is. That's what I'm trying to say. That's, what, that's why I'm beginning this shit. Cause I be like, yo. Think about this, like as a civilian, like just pure bred civilian. The 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 eyes I look through coming up, like I got seen all the bullshit. Like I seen when the I seen it. I seen everything. I feel like it's self snitching for sure. 